Is it Wednesday already? It is my dudes and goods. Day two of 2019. Hello, how are you? Tis the season for scooping free Christmas trees from the curb. It is a veritable forest out there on the sidewalks of New York. I've rounded up 40 of them so far. Some beautiful balsam firs, scotch pines. Got them in storage in deep Queens. We'll be selling them in November at unbeatable prices. Go to scottsusechristmastrees.com right now to reserve yours for Christmas 2019. And go to hqtrivia.com to play HQ. Oh, oh wait, you don't, you don't have to do that. You already have the app. You're already playing HQ. It's a live mobile game show. We answer questions to win cash. You already know what that is, and you already know who it is. This is right here. Who this? Who this is? It's your host with the asbestos, Scott Rogowski, live in living color and stereophonic sound from Don Knotts Berry Farm. With all you boys and girls in the peanut gallery, including Katie, Michael's friend Mary, Peter, Caroline, and Jacob in New York City, who won last night. Congratulations. You already know how to play HQ, don't you? Answer 12 questions, win 12 cents. Our grand prize tonight is $5,000. We'll see how much of that you'll be stuffing under your hat. That's the total prize. The winners take a share. You're likely already brimming with points at this point, right? Not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Collect points by answering questions and level up. Be like Mac DeMarco. Get on the level. On the level. When you get to level 10, you can coast through first 10 questions. Boom. And then it's like a layup to win the whole thing at Q12. It's even easier with an extra life. You can use that anytime during the game up to question 11. That gets you back in if you get a question wrong. Erasers, maybe you're playing with HQDs nearby. You can get an eraser, that helps you too. Those points and levels will stay good till our season finale show next Tuesday, January 8th. Oh boy, it's creeping up on us. I'm giving out $50,000 plus a brand new car. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. No, just one of you is getting the car. Here in my car, I feel safest of all. Playing HQ words is where I'm safest, y'all. HQ words, it's our new offering. Yes, HQ's mobile media empire expands. Following HQ tonight and every night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time is HQ words hosted by Word Nerd and a Royce the Five Nine Man. You solve word puzzles and win cash. If you can spell, you can win. Hit that join beta button, hit it for a chance to be invited into the fun. You are already on the list for HQ trivia tonight. I'm geared up and raring to go, so let's do the damn thing. Let's get down to the nitty gritty on this hump day, the first of 2019. Let's get this show on the road with over 400,000 of you live around the world for Cumero Numero Uno. What tool is best for neatly dividing a board into two pieces, hammer, saw, or pliers? When the only tool you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. You can hammer on that plank all day long, but if it splits in two, it ain't gonna be pretty. Today's prime time pro tool tip is try a saw. Saw it again. 356,469 are seeing the saw at Q1. I thought I saw Q2. What kind of puppet is controlled from above by strings? Marionette, finger puppet, or hand puppet? This one's for the old timers. It's howdy doody time. It's howdy doody time. These puppets are great if you can get past the distracting, at times disturbing, wobble. In medieval Europe, they were used to tell biblical stories featuring Virgin Mary, leading to a name that means Little Mary. Marionette. Woo! 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 346,293 of you thought the major was a lady. Marionette. Net! Hey! You've been asking for it. Reverend Lovejoy knows I've been asking for it. Big news, kids. This Sunday night, 9 p. E.T. Uh, the Simpsons. Yes! HQ is taking the monorail to Springfield for Simpsons theme night. I can barely contain my cromulence. Sunday, 9 p.m. B-Y-O-B-B. That last B is a typo. Q3, what sport currently uses a ball that is stitched together? Golf, basketball, or baseball? Look, even if you couldn't tell me who's currently sitting atop the NBA Western Conference, it's the Nuggets. Or uh, who's the defending Farmers Insurance Open champion? You should know basketballs 
and those little mini Epcot sensors we call golf balls are mostly molded rubber and plastic, but each and every Major League Baseball has no more, no less than 108 stitches of thread around that cowhide. Oh yeah, 344,694 sliding in safely into Q4. 13,000 of you, you're out of here. You swung and a miss, but maybe you got a level to keep you in for Q4. What color are the houses in the classic version of Monopoly? Green, red, or blue? Do we have a deal with Monopoly? What's with all these Monopoly questions? Has it been a while since your last game of Monops? 32 houses come in every box and four houses are needed to build a hotel. You can distinguish between them by this neat little rhyme. Hotels are red, violets are blue, houses are green, and so will be you. With envy when I own all the railroads. Ha <laughs> ha! Green is your answer. 2, 23, 4, 64. Looking to chase that green tonight. You pass go, you collect Q5. Which of these is Benjamin Franklin not credited with inventing? Bifocal glasses, lightning rod, or printing press? Benji Franks, Benny Franks was an avid publisher with titles like the Pennsylvania Gazette and Poor Richard's Almanac and the drinking dictionary on his resume. Bit of a tippler, that Ben Franks. But for the presses he used to print, he had Johann Gutenberg to thank some three centuries earlier. The Gutenberg printing press, Steve Gutenberg's great, 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 great grandfather, 198,335 knew this one. And you also know early to bed, early to Q6. What sauce's name translates to crush, pesto, sofrito, or sriracha? Who's crushing this quiz right now? Who's just like killing it right now? Totally crushing it, bro. So frito is named for the fact that its ingredients are fried as part of the recipe. Frito. Sriracha? Well, that's named after a coastal city in Thailand, Sriracha. But have you ever heard of a mortar and pestle used to crush things? Pestle, like pesto, like crushed basil, pine nuts, garlic, a little Parmesan, 175,200. 180 presto, you got pesto, and you're getting Q7. Which of these fictional elements is mainly associated with the DC Comics universe? Vibranium, adamantium, or amazonium? A lot of made up materials in comic books. The Marvel Universe features Wolverine and his claws made of adamantium. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a graphic that we don't. Along with Captain America and his shield, also Marvel, Captain America's shield made of pure Wakandian vibranium. Wakandan. Wakandian? Wak Wakanda. Let's go with Wakandan. DC has Superman contending with kryptonite and Wonder Woman with her bracelets made of Amazonium. Those bracelets of submission. Amazonium is your answer. Who's lassoing that? 79,728 of you are wonderful wonder men and women, wonder age cuties you are, you're getting Q8. The 7D was a TV series that ran from 2014 to 2016 on which channel? Sci-Fi, Disney XD, or CNBC? Now, if you don't remember this show, you're not alone. I had no idea what this was. The title is a bit hard to parse unless you know the company behind it. They love to repurpose its existing properties. And that's how we got this TV spinoff of Snow White and the seven dwarfs. The seven D, it's dwarfs. And where do you find those dwarfs? On Disney XD. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to Q9 we go with 62,699. Who's got, you got that seven D energy for Q9. Giorgio Armani did not design suits specifically for which movie? Wall Street, Goodfellas, or The Wolf of Wall Street? Uh-oh. Two of those have Wall Street in it. Uh-uh. But is it the third one? Is that the one that's the answer? Giorgio Armani were the most successful designers of all time with over eight, worth over eight bill, eight billion. He's designed costumes for over a hundred films, including The Untouchables, Natural Born Killers, American Gigolo, the movie that put Richard Gere on the map, Goodfellas, yes, and 2013's Wolf of Wall Street, but not. 1987's Wall Street. No wolf, no Armani, no service for 70,000 of there who just got eliminated on a savage question. Savage question at Q9. 
Oh, boy, Alberto. Oh, my Lanta. 20,403 of you remain for Q10. You're dressed to impress tonight. Maybe the levels will keep you in for Q10. I don't know. Which of these is one of the four largest islands comprising Japan? Shikoku, Kozushima, or Okinawa? Hmm. Four big islands make up most of what we know as Japan, and by far the biggest is Honshu, home to Tokyo, and a whole lot more. Up top in the country, you have Hokkaido, shaped like a square with a fish's tail, and on the bottom, Kyushu and Shikoku. 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 Shikaka. 21,992 knew this one. You probably know Japan better than I do. Those other two listed, by the way, Kozushima, Okinawa, very teensy weensy islands. We are saying sayonara to all you who got that wrong, and konnichiwa to Q11. About which country did a French president say, one cannot trust people whose cuisine is so bad? England, Russia, or USA? USA. This was a burn circa 2005, courtesy of French President Chirac, directed at his neighbor to the north via the channel. He also said that the only thing this country has ever done for European agriculture was mad cow disease. Ouchie wowie. The heat is on, England. How are you gonna let Chirac parley vu like that? England's your answer, 22,697. Hail, hail, Britannia. And hail, Q12. You did it, you made it all the way to the final question of the quiz. Q12, $5,000, it all boils down to this. So frito, a little pesto, we got a nice tasty quiz tonight. Q12. Ooh, we're serving up some television trivia. Which of these bands did not appear on Beverly Hills 90210? Ben Folds 5, The Cardigans, or The Flaming Lips? A nice marriage of TV and music. Mm. That's a spicy question. It may be a new year, almost a new decade, but let's take a look back to my favorite decade, the 90s, just for sharts and gargles. While a lot of bands played the Peach Pit in Beverly Hills, Dylan, Brenda, Donna, Kelly, and Steve were never treated to the fresh sounds of that North Carolina trio, Ben Folds Fife. Ben Folds Fife's the answer. 9,031 of you are our winners, baby! <laughs> Selfless, cold, and composed. We got 9,031 not angry dwarfs. You won. You won HQ. You knew about 7D. You win 56 or 55 cents. How about that? Icky P. Tang or Lucky. I don't know. Cut Tubby doing the classic Leaning Tower of Pisa pose. Very nice. Repco 1986. I remember. That's a familiar name. Uh, a, a repeat champion, you could say. So many of you. One tonight, congratulations, Ben Folds coming through. Ben Folds, by the way, friend of the show. Shout out to his son who plays HQ. Yeah, I met him, Louie. Hey, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. And every night at 9 p.m. you can find HQ trivia. Also 3 p.m. tomorrow because tomorrow's Thursday. Tuesday's Thursday, we do it 3 p.m. And of course, Sunday night, the Thompsons. No, the Simpsons, Sunday at nine. Start spreading the news. Spring failed, spring failed. It's a hell of a town. And words is coming up next at 9.30. Until I see you again tomorrow, I have been Scott Rogowski. You've been wonderful. I'm signing off tonight paying tribute to one of the greatest comedians and comic actors to ever roam the earth, Bob Einstein, a.k.a. Super Dave Osborne, a.k.a. Marty Funkhauser, Funkhauser, son of Parkia Carcass, brother to Al Brooks. We lost Bob today at the age of 76, and the world will be a far less funnier place without him. Look him up on YouTube. Check out his Tonight Show appearances. Oh my gosh. Letterman, uh, his podcast appearances, Norm Macdonald show. It's amazing. I leave you tonight with a joke he loved to tell. You know, a lot of dirty jokes he has, but this one I'll clean it up. Two guys are at a bar. All right. One guy drinks too much. He throws up on a shirt. He says, oh no, my wife's going to kill me. What am I going to do now? The other guy says, don't worry about it. Tell her someone else got drunk, threw up on your shirt and gave you $10 to get it cleaned. He says, you're brilliant. He puts $10 in a shirt pocket. 
Guy goes home, walks through the door. His wife starts screaming at him. He says, yeah, just a minute, just a minute. It wasn't me. All right, this guy at the bar got sick, threw up in my shirt, and to prove it, he put $10 right in there to get it cleaned. Well, she reaches in. She says, there's $20 here. He says, I know. He also crapped in my pants. Good night. Love you, Bobby. <laughs>